What's up guys, this is top 10 things you should be checking on your ATV. So this is going to be a regular ATV maintenance checkup video. So the first thing you want to do is to wash it. And if you want to, it's totally optional. It just makes it a lot easier when you're looking at worn parts and things. Step two is also optional. Get a service manual. You can get one of those at countrycat.com. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and under technical information, you can get an Arctic Cat owner's manual and service manuals down there. Another tip is to make a note on your phone or a notebook with the year, make, and model of your ATV. Write down a checklist with all these things in it, what oil types, oil filter numbers, air filter types, as well as writing down the amounts. So first off, you wanna park your ATV in a level spot. Number one, check your engine oil. On this one, our engine oil, you're gonna check right behind this panel. You got your dipstick right here. And you're gonna want the level to be in between the marks on a dipstick. So warm your engine up, bring it to the level spot, park it, let it sit for a minute or two, pull your dipstick, wipe it off, stick it back in, pull it back out, and then see what you've got for oil level. Then we'll just close this panel back up. And step number two. Number two is the oil filter. So over here on the front right side of the ATV, we have the oil filter right back here. So what you're going to do is just make a note of the part number or the oil filter number. And you can grab one of those whenever you're out and you need one. You should change this with every oil change. Number three is the air filter right under the seat here. Here's the air filter under the seat. Just pull this off, blow it off with compressed air. If you've got this sleeve on it, pull that off and clean that as well. And then stick it back on and you're good to go. Number four is our diff fluid, which is front and rear differentials. Right down here on these Arctic Cats, you're gonna be one inch below the fill threads of the fill plug. So you're gonna need a 17 millimeter socket on an extension, half inch ratchet. So just loosen up this plug or you can pull the fill plug and the drain plug and just add a teeny little bit in there until it comes out the drain plug. That's the easiest way to make sure your level is correct. So that's number four, is your front and rear diff fluid. Now a tip on these filling caps you don't want to over tighten them because it's just aluminum. So just hand snug. Back here in the back, it's the same deal. Filler plug, pull the drain plug. Just give it a little bit until it comes out the drain plug. Then you know you've got the right amount of oil in there. So just make sure you get a SAE 8090 hypoid gear oil for the front and rear differentials. All right, number five is your spark plug. You're gonna move your shifter out of the way. Just pull the spark plug boot, get your 5.8 with an extension on there. And just grab your spark plug. So you just pull this out, clean up with a wire brush, gap it to the proper size, or if it's time, replace it, stick it back in, and you're good to go. Be sure to take down the miles and hours. Whenever you do maintenance, you can refer back to that. You can look back and see when it is time to do another oil change or clean the air filter or spark plug or whatever. All right, coolant level, that's number six. Right up here in the front, under the front rack, there's a little rubber cover. Slip that out of the way. You'll be sure to let your ATV cool down. You just want to be able to see coolant in there. It has an overflow tube up here. So just right to the bottom of that. It's a good level. So we're good on coolant. You won't have to check this as frequently as all the other things, but it's still good to check. And just pop your rubber cover back in and we're on to number seven. Number seven is our suspension bushings. And I'm gonna include the A-arm bushings in that as well. So if you have a jack, grab the jack. Also with it off the ground, we can wiggle our suspension. 
Looks like it's just that lower A-arm bushing. We've got a little bit of wiggle here on our lower A-arm in the front, so we're gonna need bushings for that. And we'll just work our way around all four corners. Number eight is wheel bearings. You'll check that the same way as your suspension bushings. You just have to look at your hub in here and see if you have any movement. These all look good. Be sure to check out the greasing wheel bearing video. I'll leave a card right here. Learn how to grease your bearings. Make them last a little bit longer. Jack it up. Give it a wiggle. See if you've got any movement. So on this one I have to do the lower A-arm bushings, but I plan on doing them all at the same time. So I'll get those ordered and do a video here in the future. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Number 9 is your battery voltage. I've got 12.6 here on the gauge. If your gauge doesn't show battery voltage, grab your multimeter, set it to DC, and you can check your battery this way. We've got 12.85, that's actually pretty good. If you're anywhere below 12.5, probably want to start putting it on a maintainer. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can check out what maintainer I use and any other helpful links I'll leave down there for you guys to check out. All right, last one I've got for you is number 10, which is tire pressure. Check all four corners. Make sure you've got your correct PSI. I'm running eight PSI, I think. Seven to eight. Just my preference for writing. And that's it. That's the top 10 things you should be checking for regular maintenance on your ATV. Hope that you found this video helpful. Be sure to leave a like. See you in the comments down below.